In Londonderry, before the polls opened, a worker was spraying sanitizer, part of the effort to make sure people were safe as they head to the polls. Inside the polls, some of the workers are wearing gloves, just part of the steps town officials are taking out of concerns over the coronavirus. We've got hand sanitizers, gloves. Um, we sent out a notice people could wear gloves and bring their own pens if they want. Still, most voters didn't seem to be worried about the virus. Right now, I'm not overly concerned about that. I think it's uh, our duty to do our part and, and vote, so I, I'm happy to do it, yeah. It's not as simple as just a common cold, but uh, we, we can't panic about things. It's just all common sense stuff, really. We do that with the flu every year, so it should be no different. In Londonderry, as in many polling places around the state, hand sanitizer is available. I used it because you just never know. There was a man sneeze and a couple booths down from me, so I thought, well, I don't want to take the risk of getting something. At a polling place in Salem, turnout was also light. This despite the fact that the moderator thought a couple of bond issues would bring people out to vote. Have a great day. On the check-in tables, hand sanitizer and sanitizing wipes were available, and occasionally some of the poll workers were using them. And while gloves were also available in Salem, unlike in Londonderry, they weren't in use. Now, while most of the poll workers and the voters we talked to didn't seem overly concerned about the coronavirus, here in Salem, the poll workers are now wearing those gloves. And we did have one woman, one voter, come by and give us this uh, hand sanitizer. She works for a cleaning company. She said it was just in case. Reporting live in Salem, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.